Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob, and uh, I'm back with another episode of The Art of War Red Tide. So, in this episode, we are going to talk a little bit about... Uh, which one will I do first? Because I'm going to do two videos. Uh, now, one I'm going to do about how to counter the Grenadiers, and the second one I'm going to talk about... Uh, uh, Yaguai, the builds for Yaguai that I have currently. So first of all, let's go into uh, let, let's go for the counter for the Grenadier. Now, there has been a massive uh, change in how people play just by using the Grenadier. Uh, I have played a bunch of games. Um, I am currently a Platinum 3, 4 star, and uh, you can see I've lost here three times. Uh, actually, what happened was, I, and I've won again with a new strat that I'll talk about in the next video. Uh, I have played against the top commanders. Uh, I'm currently 12, here I am, uh, in the 1v1 rank. I've played against this finals. He is extremely good. I've learned a few things from him. As well as this guy. I can't read his name. Uh, I played against finals twice. I lost and I played against this guy and I lost as well. And uh, I've played against M Mark V or MRKZV. Uh, I beat him. Uh, he was quite... He was not, uh, not that uh, problematic. But... The other two I found uh, very difficult and I lost against them. So, uh, just to give you a background of what I'm playing. So, uh, the Grenadier counter. I need to find someone who's going to play the Grenadier. That's the problem. Uh, let me first go into it. So, the Grenadier does massive amounts of damage. Uh, as you guys have seen from my previous videos... Uh, he drops a grenade doing 3,000 damage to 8 enemies maximum in a 4 yard radius. Uh, and as well he does 20 damage and okay so his health isn't that important because that bomb that he throws, that little bomb there, wait wait for it, he's gonna throw it now. Throw the bomb! There they throw it. Those bombs wipe out a lot of enemies. And uh, that's a big problem. So... Yeah, that, that bombs that he throws, you need to counter that somehow. And uh, I have found a way. So I've played games where I had like 40 Grenadiers and I'll, the, their wave just approach and I throw the bombs and it just completely wipes uh, them out. So I found another way and it's with Atlak. I, I found a counter for this Grenadier build. If, if, even for the, the commanders, the com commanders even do worse against... Uh, what I'm about to tell you now. Uh, so, you know, if they take uh, the, the best counter for Grenadier, first of all, ban it. Ban the Grenadier. That, then, then you can play your own game or some different way. But people in this game is so predictable and I love it. I, I am predicting what people are going to do way before that I, I even click the search for a game button. So I know that if someone's going to play Terran, they're going to select the Grenadier and they're going to play with him. So it's easy for me to counter you because I know you're going to do it already. It, it, people are so predictable, it's, it's crazy, it's funny. So what I do is I take the Commando counter, which I've set up here. So I've got the Inverse Skies, uh, the, the Shadow Blade Slave, and I've got the Golden Guardian. That's just for the early game. Uh, sometimes it works good. Actually, a good unit, what you can ban. Uh, if you want to ban a unit, don't ban the Grenadier or the Commander. And i tell you why exactly. Because you want the enemy to play with them. Because you already have a counter for it. You want uh, them to choose them. So you can ban something else. And a good ban is the Flamethrower. Actually, it is a good ban. Or the Asterion. The Asterion is also a good ban. Or the Anti-Air. The Interceptor is also a very good ban because I'll tell you why uh, in a second. So the Flamethrower, if you ban the Flamethrower, it means that you will have early game with these two. The Flamethrower, uh, the other early game that he has normally is Sniper or Grenade Launcher and these guys can take them out easily. So you'll get that initial 1500 essence, which is great. 
if you ban the look look at the build that I have here if you ban the interceptor it means that they don't don't have any anti-air fighter meaning that if you build a lot of unicorns or azure dragons they can't counter you with anti-air uh, fi uh, flying units they can't so that's a good ban that's a great ban actually because these guys can be attacked by anti-air um, if you ban uh, what was the other one? Oh, the Asterion. So the Asterion unit, which is this one, he does double damage to fly flying units. So let's go look at him. He does um, 45 damage normally every one uh, to ground units, and he does 90 damage to air units. And if he attacks your uh, your unicorns this unit if he attacks it he will do 90 damage every time so it's easy to kill them these guys with uh, Asterions but uh, they, they don't have that much range the uh, unicorn let's see how much range they have they have only 22 the unicorn has 28 okay so you have more range uh, but the unit that really matters in countering grenadiers or commandos or any uh, small force is the Hierophant. So the counter unit, sorry for that, is the Hierophant. Uh, what the Hierophant does is basically he is he does the same as what a, a, a grenadier does, but he shoots these balls. Look at that, and these balls does uh, thirty damage. Okay, um, and I think the ga dam the damage tick is thirty damage every zero point five seconds. So it's 30 damage every 0 0.5 seconds with uh, uh, with for two seconds. So that's uh, that's uh, three times four, which is 120 damage. That's more than enough to kill um, the grenadier. So if you shoot these balls out, um, it creates an area here that you can't really see that um, that which they cannot walk in. And if you uh, if you have this area uh, with the unicorn, oh shit! Okay, wait, I'm doing something here now. If you combine this with the unicorn, what the unicorn also does is he creates an area that deals a damage per second. So now you have a area that does 30 dam oh, or 60 damage per second plus 8 damage per second. You're creating effectively an uh, area where your enemies can't walk. So effectively, you're creating a massive area where your enemies can't walk in, and uh, grenadiers don't have that much health. So I've I've also played this where the guy he switched to Asterion and tried to make a lot of Asterion. It doesn't work because that whole area, you're with the Hierophants and the unicorns, you're just creating such a messy area to walk in because it deals too much damage. The guys just take damage over time uh, like crazy. Now also I've. I've unlocked the Stone Vajra. What the Stone Vajra has is it's a it's an ability that you activate. Okay, uh, for 3.5 seconds, the Stone Vajra becomes uh, in, uh, invincible, so it can not take damage and it sees invisible units. So basically, if you're going up against a group of commandos, you just build like a few of these. When the commandos try to snipe him, you activate the ability; they can't get hurt. Boom. Then uh, the, basically the commandos are useless. So this is my anti-commando build. I put in the Azure Dragon there. The reason is uh, Azure Dragon uh, can attack air units as well. The Unicorn can't. So the Azure Dragon is great as well for attacking air units. They do 100 damage per pop, which is every 3 seconds. Okay. Uh, to 4 enemies at most. Okay, so it, it does a lot of damage. No, okay, so here it says only 80, but here it says 100. And I have 200 health. So you you can... Uh, I mainly put it in because if the, if the Unicorn gets banned, at least I have the Azura Dragon to back up the Hero Fund. Uh, transformation, I have the Azura Dragon turning into a File tur Turtle. And the Stone Vajra, you can see I don't have the Arhat. The Stone Vajra can turn into the Arhat. Most of the time when you choose uh, uh, Atlak, they will ban 
the Arhat. So you don't need them in this point. You just need the Hierophant. Also, what I did is I got the the shield, um, the high shield slave, and he does area damage as well with like a poke every. 10 seconds but I don't really build him it's just to fill up the queue I have anti-air of course and then of course I have the wrath chanter which just increases all of this damage so um, that's my build to counter the the um, the commando or the grenadier uh, what you can also get is the sky crab I'm saving for this now the uh, swift sky crab the swift sky crab will also work great the reason for that is he has 30 range an actual 30 range and he attacks 1.1 second for 80 damage so basically he can shoot further uh, than anyone else and do a lot of damage so you can uh, it will be out of the range of the grenadiers because the grenadiers only have 20 health so I'm gonna cancel this uh, let me search for a match Oh, there we go I'm going to try and push this guy to play with Grenadiers. Let me try and push. Uh, what am I going to ban? Let's ban this. So I'm going to I'm going to try and push him to uh, I'm going to ban the Arhat. Let's see what he bans. I, I want to push him to play with the Grenadiers. Ah, oh, there he bans the Grenadiers. Okay, uh, one second. I'll get back to you guys. Uh, I want to show you this. I want to try and get a guy to play Grenadiers. Hold on one second. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I finally found someone who's played Terran against me. I just played a previous game. Unfortunately, I lost uh, with Atlac. Uh, it's just at the end, I uh, was kind of foolish. Uh, but... I will learn from my mistakes. Okay. So hopefully this guy brings in grenadiers. I I I want I want to show you how much of an effect these uh, hero funds have, and hopefully I can do that in this game. It's time for you to uh, so this is my build so far, uh, hero funds. Uh, so basically, I just do a. Uh, normal build in the beginning just get in some uh, warriors hopefully they will kill them yeah one more one more yeah okay dominating okay I'm dominating strange anyway So I'm going to stop at, let's say, 8. Let's do 8. Okay. Now I'm just saving to upgrade the mine. Mine is upgrading. Okay. See, he's not upgrading the mine. That gives me an advantage. Also, with this build, with the Hero Fund build, you have to take Essence Collector. This skill is so damn overpowering. It's not. It's no joke. It. it this skill is amazing. Essence Collector is just an incredible, incredible skill to have. Because uh, with Hero Font you bomb an area and uh, your uh, this Essence Collector will just suck up all of that um, Essence. Especially if they have a few Grenadiers. So just to also let you guys know, you can hotkey these uh, abilities. Q, W, E. Q, W, E. If you want to hotkey your, your character's abilities, it's Shift. Shift, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I press 1 now, I select that unit. If I press 2, I select that unit. So if they had abilities, like here on the top, you have to just press Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3. So that's how you can actually use it quite quickly. Uh, I'm going to start now with the Hierophant. 
This is an amazing unit. They're trying to... I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to uh, rush me with snipers. That won't work. It's no, it, I've had people try it before. It just doesn't work. Sorry to say. So what I'm going to do now, you can see the ability. So I'm going to press shift 3. And he will use the ability. See that damage it does? It does quite a bit. He also has uh, a lot of base damage, which is 35, which isn't bad. Here comes the flamethrowers. Yeah, also if you think you're gonna play against them, a good ban is the flamethrowers. Always good. Yeah, upgraded the snipers. He's focusing a lot of effort on these snipers. I don't mind. He can do that. That's fine. Look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah. These Herophants, they do aerial damage as well. Those balls that they shoot out, it uh, it uh, affects area targets as well. Let's use one target. Essence Collector. Let's see. Look at this. Boom. All of that Essence I'm gaining. All of that Essence goes in. And, yeah, the enemy will actually target this Essence, which is funny. Uh, it just gives you a nice little smoke screen. That's 900. That that was just 900 that I got for using these skills altogether. What you can also do is even couple like uh, put the essence uh, collected down and shoot them with a mega beam. That could work as well. But let's use this. They're trying to attack me now with. Uh, with flamethrowers, but that won't work. Uh, you can see now I'm thinning their herd now. Uh, I'm waiting for them to start with the grenadier, which... Ah, he's got a commando. He's doing commando. I just can't see them. That's good for me. Commandos are ev do even worse in uh, against these units. Let's put down another essence collector. Look at this. Now I actually want to kill the commandos because uh, the command... Yeah, look at this. Hey, hey, hey. The commandos give a lot of essence to this essence collector because uh, they cost a lot. I think it's, it's based on cost. That's how much they will collect. I just... Uh, general rule, always build like three uh, inverse uh, spotters at least. Look at this. Just the snipers, they don't do very well against them. <laughs> now I can put another essence collector down. Just keep doing that. Just keep using your essence. Ooh, what happened there? That wasn't good. Look at this, look at this. All of that essence I'm collecting. All of it. Now I'm gonna save these balls for the next one. Oh. Or maybe I will use it right now. 690. It's not a lot, but it helps. It helps a lot. Imagine... Uh, I, I will show you at the end of the game how much uh, essence I will have. It's it's kind of insane. Let's nuke them, boys. I should really wait for my guys to get closer. Uh, my essence collector is ready again. Let's put them up. Get them in, get them in, get them in. Look at that. That's all essence I'm getting. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start with unicorns. Normally I build 10 uh, hero fans and then I'll focus on the, um, uh, on the uh, unicorns. He made a silly mistake. He's starting with this uh, tank. 
Uh, this tank is not very strong, but what it does do, it uh, provides a uh, like a detector unit. Basically, that's 1,590 essence. Again, I'm getting. Let's drop some bombs here. And it is a yeah. This bomb is an air effect as well, so you attack ground and uh, land units at the same time. So it doesn't matter if he had grenadiers now. The grenadiers will come and they will throw bombs and destroy my hero fans, but that's fine because I will destroy their grenadiers as well. And uh, yeah, you can say like whoever has the most grenadiers win at the or ha has the most, but that's not entirely true because what I do do in fact is I do um, yeah, I do start getting unicorns. Now, Grenadiers and Unicorns, they, you know, it, it's awesome because, uh, there we go, starting with the Unicorns, let's bomb them, yeah, look at that, 1,100, another 1,100 for me, yeah, I don't even need this income, I can just drop this, and it caps at 600, so you can't go more than 600 for Essence Collector, you cannot, so you can continue using essence collector the whole time look at this um, just taking them out completely yeah so using that so I have so much essence now I can start using my uh, my unicorns to affect uh, I'm just creating a pool where they cannot move at all Just look at this. Now oh, I'm waiting for this group to come in so I can bomb them. Ooh, nice shot. Another 1,200. Thank you. Can bolt more. It's it's funny. I'm surprised he used that on me. Let's use... Let's throw some bombs back at him. Now we're just gonna start accumulating uh, unicorns. They're just gonna rack up on top of each other. And now what we can do is also get some wrath. Uh... Look at this. Now it just starts up and creates a whole cesspool of incredible like damage that I do now. Uh, let's get six in total. So wrath, uh, wrath uh, chances. They will help me with uh, doing damage in a in a uh, uh, just doing more damage. Uh, 450. That wasn't a good one, but hey, every little helps. Look at this. All of these unicorns. Build more unicorns. Yeah, they are coming in. Look at this. Just destroying their whole lineup. Like again, I say, this works against Grenadiers as well. Dominating. Now my Unicorns are coming in. Ooh, they have anti-air. So now I'm going to sell. Now I'm going to fully focus on uh, anti-air. Um, the good thing is, yeah, uh, Hierophant targets anti-air as well. Uh, but you still have to be very careful. However, I was Look at that. Boom, boom. Anti-air gone. You have to be careful. Anti-air always build. Make sure you have sufficient uh, counter for anti-air. Another essence I'm gonna use. Essence collector. Just collect that essence. Just keep on collecting. 1300. Just got a 1300. Nice hmm? Let's Let's drop a bomb. Also, look at my cap is pretty decent. Go, go, split. Yes. Okay, so I got the split to uh, happen. Keep pushing. Yep. Don't let the sacrifice go now I'm gonna I can invest in more hero funds at the end you can sell these golden uh, the the uh, golden guardians but now you are just so fully overpowered they can drop a nuke here it doesn't matter he's probably saving for a nuke I don't mind 
because my units will just come back because I have more credits than him. I have more. Uh, look at this, six, 600 again. Uh, I just don't know what to build anymore. Let's uh, get rid of some of these. Let's drop them. <laughs> yep, there's the nuke. But my my unicorns can survive a nuke. Which is awesome. And that's... Like I said, the same effect you can apply to uh, Grenadiers. Now, how to stick a cog in countering Grenadiers. You can count it by um, banning the unicorn is a good uh, good way to stop this uh, uh, this f this build now uh, also this build can work on other things it's not just for the grenadier but mainly I use it only for the grenadier and of course for the commando you can use it for anything basically um, I've I found it's very effective against uh, a lot of units but if they start going anti-air a lot of anti-air you're gonna have a problem uh, what I do have in this build is also uh, I have two sets of dragons you can see I've both dragons the reason is because the Azura dragon can attack air units but I wouldn't recommend building him as your primary attack against air units stick with uh, the vulture build as much vultures as you can uh, because you can build four vultures for one Azura dragon and vultures don't have any research cost so Azura dragon does a hundred damage and it has 200 health four four vultures will have what's that 560 health and do 200 damage so it's better to build four vultures than one azure yes your cap is gonna get full but that's fine just focus on this you don't even actually need this but i just put them in to transform into a fire turtle if they throw me with a curveball so i have high uh hierophant and unicorn that's the guys that you want actually uh, i can trade this unit this high shield slave for a um a gospel chanter and use the stone vajra the stone vajra is also awesome uh, he can go in invulnerable like i said before so if you're playing against grenadiers you can you can think of maybe throwing in five of the stone vajras um, to just uh attack to attack them and not get damaged and if you couple that with the gospel chanter the gospel chanter will heal the stone vajra shield as well as the rest of your units now uh, I forgot to show you this is the victory that I had look at the essence that I had and this was wave 44 we weren't even finished we weren't even at 45 I've got 80 uh, 58,000 or 59,000 soul essence I I have most games if I go to 45 or 46 wave I have 60 uh, the most I've ever had is 63 soul uh, 63,000 soul essence if you go look at your games, uh, guys, you will never have what I have. I have 10,000 more than what you have. 10,000. That is four uh, unicorns. Or, I don't know, that is 10 um, commandos or 10 grenadiers. I, I also have this soul essence per minute and that. But with this skill, uh, with this the uh, essence collector I gain so much essence and I gain it very fast very very fast and it's an awesome counter for grenadiers because essentially grenadiers they try and flush you out and push you out in the early game so that you don't have enough time to build uh, but with this build uh, this build you can gain a lot of essence um, I don't I don't even needed the stone Vajra I could have built him I could have if I wanted to, but I didn't need him. I could have just uh, spammed Unicorn and I've built a lot of vultures to counter their um, their units. So this is the counter for the Grenadier. Join me in the next episode as I talk about the Yaguai and a very kick-ass build for the Yaguai that I found um, uh, playing on higher tiers. That's it for me. My name is Noob and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye guys.
like the grenadier and they're gonna play with him so it's easy for me to counter you because I know you're gonna do it already it, it, people are so predictable it's it's crazy it's funny so what I do is I take the commando counter which I've set up here so I've got the inverse guys uh, the, the Shadow Blade Slave and I've got the Golden Guardian. That's just for the early game. Uh, sometimes it works good. Actually a good unit what you can ban. Uh, if you want to ban a unit, don't ban the Grenadier or the Commander. And I tell you why exactly. Because you want the enemy to play with them. Because you already have a counter for it. You want uh, them to choose them. So you can ban something else. And a good ban is the Flamethrower. Actually, it is a good ban or the Asterion. The Asterion is also a good ban or the Anti-Air. The Interceptor is also a very good ban because I'll tell you why uh, in a second. So the Flamethrower, if you ban the Flamethrower, it means that you will have early game with these two. The Flamethrower, uh, the other early game that he has normally is Sniper or Grenade Launcher. And these guys can take them out easily. So you'll get that initial 1500 essence, which is great. Uh, if you ban the look look at the build that I have here if you ban the interceptor it means that they don't don't have any anti-air fighter meaning that if you build a lot of unicorns or azure dragons they can't counter you with anti-air uh, uh, flying units they can't so that's a good ban that's a great ban actually because these guys can be attacked by anti-air um, if you ban uh, what was the other one? Oh, the Asterion. So the Asterion unit, which is this one, he does double damage to fly flying units. So uh, not that uh, problematic, but the other two I found uh, very difficult and I lost against them. So uh, just to give you a background of what I'm playing. So um, the Grenadier counter. I need to find someone who's going to play the Grenadier. That's the problem. Uh, let me first go into it. So, the Grenadier does massive amounts of damage. Uh, as you guys have seen from my previous videos, uh, he drops a grenade doing 3000 damage to 8 enemies maximum in a 4 yard radius. Uh, and as well he does 20 damage and okay, so his health isn't that important because that bomb that he throws, that little bomb there, wait, wait for it, he's gonna throw it now. Throw the bomb! There they throw it. Those bombs wipe out a lot of enemies. And uh, that's a big problem. So, yeah, that, that bombs that he throws, you need to counter that somehow. And uh, I have found a way. So I've played games where I had like 40 Grenadiers and I'll the, their wave just approach and I throw the bombs and it just completely wipes uh, them out. So I found another way, and it's with Atlak. I, I found a counter for this Grenadier build. If, if even for the the commanders, the com commanders even do worse against uh, what I'm about to tell you now. Uh, so you know, if they take the the best counter for Grenadier, first of all, ban it. Ban the Grenadier. That then then you can play your own game or some different way. But people in this game is so predictable, and I love it. I, I am predicting what people are gonna do way before that I, I even click the search for a game button. So I know that if someone's gonna play Terran, they're gonna select. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob and uh, I'm back with another episode of The Art of War Red Tide. So, in this episode, we are going to talk a little bit about... Uh, which one will I do first? Because I'm going to do two videos uh, now. One I'm going to do about how to counter the Grenadiers and the second one I'm going to talk about... Uh, uh, Yagui, the builds for Yagui that I have currently. So first of all, let's go into uh, let, let's go for the counter for the Grenadier. Now there has been a massive uh, change in how people play just by using the Grenadier. Uh, I have played a bunch of games. Um, 
I am currently a Platinum 3, 4 star and uh, you can see I've lost here three times. Uh, actually what happened was, I, and I've won again with a new strat that I will talk about in the next video. Uh, I have played against the top commanders. Uh, I'm currently 12, here I am uh, in the 1v1 rank. I've played against this finals. He is extremely good. I've learned a few things from him. As well as this guy. I can't read his name. Uh, I played against finals twice. I lost and I played against this guy and I lost as well. And uh, I've played against M Mark V or MRKZV. Uh, I beat him. Uh, he was quite... He was not... Oh, no. so, let's go look at him. He does um, 45 damage normally every one uh, to ground units and he does 90 damage to a units and if he attacks your uh your unicorns this unit if he attacks it he will do 90 damage every time so it's easy to kill them these guys with uh, asterions but uh they they don't have that much range the uh unicorn let's see how much range they have they have only 22 the unicorn has 28 okay so you have more range uh but the unit that really matters in countering grenadiers or commandos or any uh, small force is the Hierophant. So the counter unit, sorry for that, is the Hierophant. Uh, what the Hierophant does is basically he is he does the same as what a, a, a grenadier does, but he shoots these balls. Look at that, and these balls does uh, thirty damage. Okay, um, and I think the ga dam the damage tick is 30 damage every 0 0.5 seconds. So it's 30 damage every 0 0.5 seconds with uh, uh, with for two seconds. So that's uh, that's uh, three times four, which is 120 damage. That's more than enough to kill um, the grenadier. So if you shoot these balls out. Um, it creates an area here that you can't really see that um, that which they cannot walk in. And if you uh, if you have this area uh, with the unicorn, oh shit! Okay, wait, I'm doing something here now. If you combine this with the unicorn, what the unicorn also does is he creates an area that deals a damage per second. So now you have an area that does 30 dam oh, or 60 damage per second plus 8 damage per second. You're creating effectively an uh, area where your enemies can't walk. So effectively you're creating a massive area where your enemies can't walk in. And uh, Grenadiers don't have that much health. So I've, I've also played this where the guy... He switched to Asterion and tried to make a lot of Asterion. It doesn't work because that whole area, you're with the Hierophants and the Unicorns, you're just creating such a messy area to walk in because it deals too much damage. The guys just take damage over time uh, like crazy. Now, also, I've I've unlocked the Stone Vajra. What the Stone Vajra has is it's a it's an ability that you activate. Okay, uh, for 3.5 seconds, the Stone Vajra becomes uh, in, uh, invincible so it can't take damage and it sees invisible units so basically if you're going up against a group of commandos you just build like a few of these when the commandos try to snipe him you activate the ability they can't get hurt boom then uh, the basically the commandos are useless so this is my anti-commando build I put in the Azur dragon there the reason is uh, Azur dragon uh, can attack air units as well. The unicorn can't. So the Azura Dragon is great as well for attacking air units. They do 100 damage per pop, which is every three seconds. Okay. Uh, to on for enemies at most. Okay, so it it does a lot of damage. No, okay. So here it says only 80, but here it says 100, and they have 200 health. So you you can. Uh,